What's happening guys? All right, so I've been looking at the fishing report, trying to figure out where I'm gonna go. I got a whole day to myself, a whole day off. It's about 55 degrees outside. Well, right now it's like 40, so it's really cold, but it's gonna get warmer and we're gonna go catch a fish. I've been looking around and the best fishing report I could find was the Little Maumelle River. I know I've been there before, but we're gonna do a part two and we're gonna try to beat five fish. I'm gonna go out for about six hours or so. I mean, that shouldn't be hard, right? Five fish, six, seven, eight. 25, who knows? Well, let's go see. This is what happens when you forget to put the plug in. Oh boy. <sighs> Very wobbly. Stupid. Gosh. So what I gotta do is I gotta put it back on the trailer. Pull it up, drain it. Yep, really stupid. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Makes me mad. Well, while we're waiting on this to drain, because I'm stupid, I can show you how well my bilge pump works and why I built one because I'm very forgetful. And I built a drain plug, or a drain portal, whatever you wanna call it back here, to uh, drain the water out because it was flooding at one point. And I thought, well, it's too heavy with all this stuff on it to utilize the one that comes with it. See, before, without all of the accessories and motors and batteries and stuff, this right here, Work fine, you just have to tip it up, you know? So, you can't do that now, it's impossible, there's no way. If you did, you just tear it up. So I had to put drain plug in it, and then I had to put a uh, bilge pump. And you can see now it's coming in handy, because our day would be over. Otherwise, now it's just delayed, but it's not over. We're gonna get to go fishing. Beautiful day, gorgeous day, water's clear. Little Maumelle River, last time I was out here, caught a lot of fish, did well. Just before I started making YouTube videos, man, I was tearing fish up. Part of that is just the virtue of the time of the year. It was summer, late spring, uh, or late fall rather. And uh, I mean, I was tearing them up, dude. One time I went out and caught like 80 fish in just a few hours on the Arkansas River. Stripers, whites, largemouth Kentuckys, everything. It was great. But like I said, part of it is just, it's just that time of the year and everybody knows it does get a little tougher, especially here in Arkansas because the weather's all over the place. <sighs> Almost done. But I don't care what the weather's like. You can, if you know what you're doing, you can catch a fish and I'm no pro, so that's part of it. All right, we're gonna try this again. You're welcome for showing that, by the way. I very well could have cut that out. But I'm gonna show it to you. Cause I always talk about the good and the bad and the stupid, which would classify in the stupid range. It's okay. <laughs> Yes, sir. You got to be a ninja to operate this thing, man. I'm telling you. It's 
beautiful day today. Here we go. Only got a bite, nothing else. Let's see if we'll come back on it. Didn't feel very big, could even have been a brim or something. <laughs> nope. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not gonna believe this. Never in my life, never in my life have I ever caught a shad or anything that is smaller than the, look at that, man. How did that even, in fact, I had two of them on there when I pulled it up, it came off of there. Hey, I did not get skunked today. That's kind of a foul hook, but I did not get skunked. Today. Look at that. Man, I kind of want to use a little dude's bait. <sighs> well then, you're welcome, YouTube. I'm gonna get him off of here without hurting him. <laughs> no kidding, man. No kidding. On a jerk bait. Wild, dude. Wild. <laughs> no way. It happened again. How's that happen twice in a row? Look at that. That one's even smaller. God, there must be a whole bunch of bait fish in here. Well, where are the big brothers and the big bass at? That's what we need to find. <laughs> Three. Three shad. We're gonna set a record today, look at that. Hey, that's legit, man. So what I think is happening is, so I'm throwing a jerk bait, which I think frivolously, it's three feet right here. But throwing a jerk bait, what's happening is these little guys are bye. These little guys are uh, getting up on the jerk bait, like getting near it, trying to swim with it, thinking it's a fish just like them, and they're getting caught up in the hooks. And there's huge wads of them, so that's all that is. I just think it's a little too late in the year for bass to be in here, this shallow water, chasing shad. But I mean, the water temp's 50 degrees. It just hit 50. There's a lot of bait in here. I just don't know. Just don't know. Four and a leaf. It shows you how many shad back there. Look, there's one right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's crazy. No bass, so it's only two feet here, so I'm not gonna spend much time back here. Violent. <laughs> Gosh. Fish. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right. Yes. Well, okay, bye. <laughs> you saw it, right? Well, that thing was not happy, was it? That's about a two pounder. It's pretty nice. Wouldn't count in a tournament, just flopped out of the water, but it counts here. All right, it's getting shallow. So here's what I'm gonna kick it up into high gear. And I'm gonna hit this around these trees right here. Then we're gonna crank up and we're gonna go back toward Lake Maumelle because this comes off of the lake, obviously. And we're gonna see because I've never been this far back before, so this is all new to me. So we're just going to kind of check it out and see if it gets deeper or see how far it goes. Maybe we can get all the way to the uh, to the dam. That'd be pretty cool. Do what I feared the most. I hate slow fishing, but it is December, but it's warming up. It's warming up. Feels great out here. So that's good. That's not good, though. See that? That's not good. Very bad. Very, very bad juju right there. But we'll get it fixed. <laughs> Just 
bridge, spillway, there's a lake. Let's just roll up the river a little bit. I feel like I'm stream fishing for some trout. <laughs> I have to get mine. Yeah, let's, here's what we're gonna do. I can't, I'm literally staying in one spot. This isn't good. So, we're gonna get the heck out of here. We're gonna go over here, crank up the big motor, and go like that. Ooh, look at this back in here. What's up, deer? <laughs> right. So we know not to go flying through there. Likely the end of the road. I don't know if I can get over that tree or around it. Bet I can get around it. Now's the challenge. Now I, I just want to know that I can do it. You know. There's a lot of fish in here. Oh yeah, easy. Easy. <sighs> well. Let's see if I got some strength. It's a field. Deer stand. I feel like I'm moving. If I stand still, I feel like I'm moving. <laughs> Windbreaker pants aren't the best britches to be wearing out in the woods either. Look what I just found. What is that? Huh. Interesting. Now we get to get back in this thing. Ugh. Sir. I'm gonna get smacked in the face with a limb, but at least I'm not gonna fall in. Could get a little bit sketchy. A lot of bit sketchy. Oh man. I totally missed everything.
just a whole new level of sketchy, man. Back trailer way too far. <laughs> That's all right, we'll make it work. I got crazy. We're good. Good now. Oh yeah, perfect. Right. Well, we're strapped in. I did not catch more than five. I did catch five though. So that's good. Yeah, you bet your ass I'm counting them little shad. Heck yeah, man. Of course I am. One good large mouth and a whole bunch of little tiny shad somehow. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. I don't care. I count anything. If there was a beaver going across the river, I could have caught that by accident. I would have counted that too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It got crazy. A lot of it. Like this. See this? See what happens? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I showed you everything. Everything I do, everything I put up with, all the fun I get to have. I had a blast. And I hope you did too. So I'll see you next episode. Oh, by the way. By the way, hold on. Don't go anywhere. Let me show you. Look at that. Yeah. See that? That's not good. That broke. So I gotta fix that's I mean that's that's really bad. <laughs> so repair video coming at you. Won't be long. It's a little little work there, not bad. I already know what I'm gonna do, like I said. Anyway, look forward to that. Alright, see you next episode. Have a good one. <laughs>